Hello, it's Alex. Today I'm going to talk about religion, and specifically I'm going to talk about a distinction that I think is often glossed over when people talk about religion, and that is the distinction between the official organizational stance of some type of organized religion, like Catholicism or like a specific Protestant denomination, like the United Methodist Church, or any organization. So a distinction between the official organizational stance and what people actually believe, which may or may not correspond to that. In some cases, like in the case of Catholicism, the official stance is that everyone is supposed to believe what the official organizational stance is. But I know a lot of people who identify as Catholics, and from talking to a lot of them, I know that many of them don't actually believe all the things that the Church says they are supposed to believe. I've had some interesting con conversations, too, between people of different religious backgrounds, and I've sometimes been surprised that people's beliefs sometimes deviate from their official stances in unexpected ways. Um, one example, I've heard the comparison between Catholics and Protestants, I've heard the statement that Catholics believe in transubstantiation, which means that when they take communion, the bread and wine actually becomes the body and blood of Christ, whereas Protestants don't believe in transubstantiation. They believe that it's more of a symbolic meaning when they take communion. Now, I've heard this voiced uh, a number of times. I've read it, written in a variety of sources. But when I actually started talking to Catholics and Protestants about the question of transubstantiation, I was surprised to find that there are Catholics who don't believe in it, and there are Protestants who do believe in it. What I've taken from this is that when I hear that there's an official belief associated with a religion or a denomination, I don't assume that everyone in that group holds that belief. And I'm very cautious about making statements like that. Like, I'm, I'm very reluctant to say, Christians believe this, or Jews believe this, Hindus believe this. I don't like to do that, and I generally don't like it when other people do that. I like it when people talk about their own beliefs, or when people say, well, the official stance of this organization I belong to is such and such, or, or the official beliefs. I think that's much more truthful, because it doesn't make any claim, any implied claim, about people in the organization, or people who are, identify as members of it, actually believing the things. Um, I hope that this has given you some insight, and I hope that it will allow you to talk about religion in a more truthful and accurate manner, by making the distinction between the organizational beliefs and what people actually believe, which in most cases you don't know until you actually ask them.